Hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I will show you how you will make stroganoff, a classic French dish which combines beef and mushrooms. I think everybody loves beef, everybody loves mushrooms. In 10 minutes the stroganoff will be ready and it will be so tender and so juicy with a delicate sauce that will blow your mind. And let's begin. We have a huge non-stick pan on heat and we want to become extremely hot. I have here beef fillet. You can use any prime cut you want. You can use sirloin, you can use ribeye, you can use any prime and tender beef you want. Uh, the fillet is always more secure than anything else because it's fillet. So cut it into slices like this and then cut it into strips like this. And the amazing of this recipe is that you actually can prepare the whole dish in under 10 minutes. Now, extra virgin Greek olive oil, not a lot, just a few drops. Salt and pepper. And a little bit massage to the meat. And here we go on the pan. Now, take your meat and saute it for not more than two to three minutes until it's golden brown and nice. Now, at the same time, we're making preparation of the other ingredients. So take an onion and thinly slice it and then brinoise it. Small cubes. Perfect. Now, let's go to the meat. Have a nice plate here. And I will turn over the meat. It's fillet, so please do not overcook it. And let's carry on with the mushrooms. Onion is here, and the mushrooms, we will quarter them, like this. If you want, you can slice them, but if you have them big chunks like this, it will give you the impression that actually, and the mushrooms are meat also, because they are so tender, and they will soak up all these lovely flavors of the meat, and actually, they will become meat also. Now, my mushrooms are almost ready. And the meat is ready. Caramelized, but still medium and tender. Don't worry, take it out, put the pan again back on heat. And now it's time for more extra virgin Greek olive oil. Two tablespoons, and the onion goes in. Oh la la. I want a nice spatula, and I want my thyme also, and I want my sugar also. And then I want also a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. I love this recipe, because I'm going at real time. As you can see, the beef is steaming, it's almost ready, the onion is caramelizing, and it's time for Mr. Mushroom. Mushrooms goes in, And now we have to be a little bit patient until the mushrooms reduces in volume, about one third of their size. And when they reduce, they will be caramelized also and they will be ready to add all the other ingredients. And as you can see, the mushrooms and the onions are lovely and it's time to add all the other ingredients. First, the tomato paste to give some body to the sauce, then the mustard. Good quality mustard. Mix everything together. Saute a little bit the tomato paste with the mustard. And it's time for the flour. The flour actually will thicken the sauce. And stir a little bit the flour. Perfection. And if you see that you want a little bit more fat to the sauce, add some olive oil, about one to two tablespoons, because actually we want to make a roux with the flour here. And as you can see now, all the flour gone. It's been absorbed from the olive oil. Now, deglaze the pan with a little bit of wine, one beef cube stock and the water. Stir a little bit, 
and cook for approximately 5 to 8 minutes until the sauce thickens and becomes sexy and nice. The very last 2 to 3 minutes we will add the beef again back to the pan. And as you can see the sauce is ready. So it's time to add the beef back again to the pan. For the very last moment, we don't want to overcook it. And I have my lovely bucat in here. Some pasta. It is the best garnish for this dish. I love bucatini. This is lovely. And I have some parsley. I need to chop, chop. And my meat is ready. So take off the heat. And it's time to add the sour cream or the yogurt. We are in Greece, so we add yogurt. If you are not in Greece, you can add some sour cream. But I think yogurt is better than sour cream. The last ingredient, yogurt, out of the heat and stir a little bit until all the ingredients are completely combined. This is an amazing recipe. The acidity of the yogurt with the sweetness of the tomato paste and of course the fillet and the mushroom and the onions is the perfect combination. Now, so take all this lovely sauce, the lovely meat, the lovely mushrooms and put them on the bucatini. Oh my God, this is lovely. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of freshly ground pepper and a little bit of extra virgin Greek olive oil. Just a few drops and it's ready. The easiest stew with beef and mushroom ever. And it's stroganoff time. I'm sure that you, everybody jealous of me. Oh my God. The meat is just falling apart, melting into your mouth. It is amazing. It's so easy to make. I don't know where to try from, but I have plenty of food for myself. Amazing. Please make this recipe. Please subscribe to my channel, make comments under in the video. And of course, share this lovely recipe with your friends. See you next time. Bye bye. Okay, shut down the camera. I have to eat. Bye.